Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Muhammad Ubaid and this is another video of basics of structural analysis series and today in this video we are going to solve a very interesting problem in which we have a prop cantilever which, which is subjected to a UDL of 10 kN per meter on the entire span and we also have a point load of 8 kN working at and B. Okay, in this problem, we are going to find the reaction RB and we will also draw the BMD for this problem. So let's see how we will do this solution of this problem. Okay, so here we have our problem. Now, this is a prop cantilever. What does it mean? So this is a propped cantilever. Okay, now what is a cantilever? So if I draw the free body diagram of a cantilever, so it is a cantilever. But in this problem, what we have introduced, we have introduced a prop. Okay, we have introduced a prop which is working as a support at B. Okay, we have introduced a prop at B which is working as a support. So due to the support, there will be a reaction RP. Okay, now it is our prop cantilever. So why it is important? Because this prop cantilever is an indeterminate structure. What are indeterminate structure? If you have not learned what are indeterminate structure, you can watch my videos. You will find the link in the description. Okay. So indeterminate structures are those in which you, we cannot find the all the unknowns by using equilibrium equations only. Okay. So in this problem, how many unknowns do we have? So we have R B. We will have R A at A, and we will also have a horizontal reaction H A and due to this fixed end there will be a moment m a okay so how many unknowns do we have unknown we have four unknown okay one at rb and three at fixed end okay and how many equilibrium equations how many equilibrium equations do we have from static so from static we have only three equilibrium equations what are those equations sigma fx is equal to 0 and sigma fy is equal to 0 and sigma mz is equal to 0. Okay, so we have only three equilibrium equations. So the degree of static indeterminacy of this problem will be 4 minus 3, which will be equal to 1. Okay, so that's why this problem is statically indeterminate. Okay, so for solving, how will you solve this problem? So if somehow we find out this RV, okay. If we find out this RB, then we can totally find a solution of this problem. Okay, so let us see how we will find this RB by using moment area method. For finding out the value of RB in this problem, we are going to use a very important principle, which is principle of superposition. Okay, if you don't understand the principle of superposition, please watch my video. You will find the link in the description box. Okay, so how we are going to use the principle of superposition in this problem to find out this value of rb okay so let's see at b so this is our support b so at b we have a prop cantilever okay because uh, we have a prop can uh, sorry at b we have a prop okay so due to this prop the deflection at b will be zero due to this prop because this prop act as a support at b so the deflection at b will be zero now as we know the deflection at B will be zero. So by using the superposition principle, we can divide our problem into three segments, okay, into three segments. So what are those three segments? Let's see. So the first segment will be this, in which we have a UDL only. And what is the value of UDL? UDL is 10 kN per meter. This is B and this is A. And the other segment, of the problem will be this in which we have 8 kN of point load acting at B and the other last third segment will be due to this R A. Now how will we use the principle of superposition? So from here we can see that due to this UDL there will be some deflection at B. Okay. There will be some deflection at B and due to this point load there will be some deflection at B okay B dash and this is B and due to this prop reaction there will be some deflection at B so this is B dash okay 
but we know that the deflection at b in actual condition is zero so if we sum up all these three deflection all these three deflection the value should be equal to zero okay so let me write it as delta due to udl which is this and delta due to point load which will be this and delta due to r b sorry this is not r a this is r b reaction at b this is r b delta due to r b will be zero this summation should be equal to zero okay because we have a prop at this end now we will use this equation for finding out the value of r b now let us understand the significance of this equation which we have got right now okay so how many uh, known do we have in this problem we have four unknowns and how many equilibrium equations we have we have three equilibrium equations in this problem okay that's why we have a degree of static intermediacy is equal to one for this problem which means that we need one additional equation to solve this problem okay why then if we get an additional equation the number of unknown will be equal to the number of equations we have in this way we can find out the solution very easily okay so what is this this is that e e additional equation this is the additional equation which we need to solve this problem so this is the additional equation okay so now right now how many unknowns do we have we have four unknowns and how many equations do we have we have three from equilibrium and one from this additional condition which is delta b is equal to zero so we have number of equations is equal to four so in this way we have four unknowns when we have four equations then we can find out the solution very easily okay so we will see how we will find out the value of r b right now okay so we have seen that we have to use a equation now in this equation we have a u delta due to udl okay we have to find this so uh, we will take the first case in which we have a udl of 10 kilonewton per meter working on the entire span and we have b and this is our a so this beam will deflect something like this okay so this is b dash and v as we have found out in our in many problems this is our tb over a okay now what will be the uh, bending one diagram for this problem so this is a udl case so the bending one diagram will be parabola the bending one diagram will be parabola okay why this will be a parabola because it will be a it will be a sorry it will be a quadratic equation it will be a quadratic equation okay and we can find out the value of ma very easily it will be 10 times the load loading span 10 times the loading span what is 10 10 is the load intensity and 6 meter is the total span and 6 by 2 why 6 by 2 because the udl will be acting at the cg okay so it will be uh 10 16 6 into 6 and this will come out to be minus 180 kilonewton per meter okay and we draw the m by ei diagram so here i will write it as 180 divided by ei okay this is b and this is uh sorry this is and a and this is and b okay and this is 6 meter the whole length of the beam so from here we can find out the value of tb over a which will be equal to am x bar divided by ei now the value of am x bar we can find out this m by ei diagram so it will be equal to 1 by 3 times minus 1 by um, sorry minus 180 divided by ei times 6 meter so it is the whole a upon am upon ei now what will be the value of x bar so we are trying to find out a deflection at b so we will take the value of x bar from b so x bar will be 3 by 4 times the whole length of the beam so from here the value of tb over a will be uh, equal to minus 1620 divided by ei okay as we have called this deflection as delta due to udl okay so this is delta due to udl now we will find out the delta due to point load okay so let's see how we will find out delta due to point load so here we are finding out the delta due to point load okay now we will draw the beam in which we have a point load of 8 kilo newton and this is our span of 6 meter this is b and this is a the deflection uh, the deflection curve will be same as we have drawn in the previous case in which we have a udl okay 
now we know the moment at a will be equal to minus 80 times 6 it will be minus 48 kilonewton meter why negative because it is producing hoggy moment okay and the bending moment diagram will be drawn like this this is a linear equation so the bending moment diagram will be a uh, this line will be a straight line okay this will be a, a straight line because it is a linear equation so it will be negative and here we have minus 48 divided by ei so it is a and this is support b and this land is 6 meter now we can find out the value of tb over a okay what is tb over a so tb over a this uh, this is p dash so this is the value of tb over a tangential division of point b with respect to the tangent drawn at a which is horizontal because tangent drawn at a is horizontal okay now the value of tb over a will be equal to am x bar upon ei and the value of am x bar we can find out from this m by ei diagram okay from this m by ei diagram so this is a triangle and the value will be minus 48 upon ei times 6 because we are taking the whole area why we are taking the whole area because we are using the tangential division at b with respect to the tangent drawn at a so we have to take the whole m by ei diagram area from a to b okay and the cg will the distance of cg will be taken from b so it will be 2 by 3 times 6 okay now after calculation you can find out the value and it will be equal to minus 576 divided by ei and as we have called it as delta due to point load okay now we have got the value of delta due to point load so finally we will find out the value of delta due to rp okay now let's see how we'll find out the delta due to delta due to rp okay uh, and uh, let's first draw the beam so it is a and it is b and it is rb so the deflected shape of this beam will be somewhat like this okay here the deflection and so will be zero because this is the fixed end okay so this is our b sorry this is our b dash okay this point so this this point is our tb over a okay and the bending one diagram will be bending one diagram will be triangle because uh, if we write the equation of ma so the value sorry if we write the bending one diagram for ma so ma will be ma will be positive rb times what is the value of length so it is 6 meter rb times 6 so 6 rb okay and this will be this will be positive because this reaction rb is causing sagging moment at in the beam okay so this will be positive and here it will be 6 rb divided by ei okay and this is our a and this is point b so from here we can find out the value of tb over a for this particular case so the tb over a am x bar upon ei and am upon x bar we can sorry am upon ei from this diagram so it is a triangle so it is a triangle so 6 rb divided by ei times 6 what is 6 6 is the length of the beam multiply by 2 by 3 times 6 why 2 by 3 because we are measuring the cg from p distance of cg from b so it will be equal to 72 rb divided by ei okay and we will call this as uh, delta due to rb equal to this the delta due to rb is equal to 72 rb upon ei now we will put the value of delta due to point load delta due to udl delta due to rb in the equation which we have right earlier okay so let's just put all these value in the equation delta udl plus delta point load plus delta due to rb must be zero okay so the value of delta due to udl is minus 1620 divided by ei and the delta due to point load was minus 576 divided by ei and the delta due to rb is 72 rb upon ei and it should be equal to zero so from here uh, you can find out the value of rb and rb will be equal to 30.5 kilo newton okay so we have got the value of rb now uh, we can find out the value of ra very easily so this is our problem and this is rb and here it is ra 
and we have a udl of 10 kN per meter and here we have a 8 kN of point load so if we apply sigma f by is equal to 0 in this problem taking positive direction as upward okay so we have r a this is we have r a plus r b minus 10 times 6 meter why 10 times 6 meter because uh, this is a beam of length 6 meter okay the length of the beam is 6 meter so we will multiply that load intensity by the distance by the sorry by the length of the beam and we also have a load of 8 kN working in the downward direction okay so from here we will put the value of rb which is 30.5 and we have 60 minus 8 so from here we can find out the value of ra which will be uh, which will be equal to 37.5 kN okay and in the similar way we can find out the value of ma we can find out the value of ma sorry it will not be zero because it is a fixed end so there will be some value of ma so what will be the value of ma ma will be equal to the uh, moment at a due to rv will be positive so rv times 6 minus 8 times 6 due to this point load and moment due to udl 10 times 6 into 6 by 2 okay and we know the value of r b so r b is 30.5 times 6 minus 8 times 6 minus 10 into 3 into 6 okay so from here you will get the value of m a as uh, let me write it here so the value of m a will be 45 kilonewton meter okay the value of ma will be 45 kN meter and it will be negative it will be negative because ma will be negative because this is a support moment okay this will act like this so this is ma so we have got the value of ma as minus 45 kN meter and the value of mb will be zero because we treat the prop as a prop support as a pin support okay we treat the prop support as a pin support okay now if i try to draw the try to draw the bending moment diagram of this problem so here we have minus 45 kN meter and at b we have zero and somewhere in this distance the bending moment diagram is positive okay so the bending moment will go something like this okay so here it will be positive and here it will be here this is and a and uh, sorry this is zero and this is and p okay so this is our pmt so in this way you can draw the bending moment diagram for this beam and if you want to find out the value of bending moment at, at any section you can just write the equation for that section and you will find out the value of bending moment at any point okay so this is it for this video and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and if you have any confusion regarding any problem please comment down in the comment box and i will try to answer all your comment as soon as possible thanks for watching and we will meet in our next video